time you got to be at work? I was thinking of phoning in sick. Oh, so you can hang around here all day on your own? I told Laura to look after Arthur for a bit. Right. You know, we don't have to stay here. Don't we? Well, why don't we go away? Anywhere, you know, just till things quieten down a bit. We might as well put a sign in the shop saying we did it. We're stuck here, Jazz. Might as well get on with it. All right, Jasmine. Christmas, eh? Excuse me, miss. What? Your name, Jasmine Thomas? Yeah. Been looking for you. We don't know where she's gone. I'm t out like a light. You've been seeing Shane long, have you? Well, not really seeing him at all. Oh, your name cropped up at the station as being his girlfriend. Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Just a casual thing, then? Yeah, if you like. He didn't ask you to go on holiday with him? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I was really busy work and stuff. Not that casual, then. When did you last see him? Um, just before he went away. You take him to the airport? No. When were you expecting him back? Uh, today. And you've had no contact with him since when? That day left. Really? No, sorry, hang on a minute. I, I got a text from him a few days after that. Saying? Well, just saying, you know, weather's good, that kind of thing. Hmm. You seem like a nice girl, Jasmine. I can see why Shane likes you. But you're a terrible liar. Now, why don't you tell me what's really going on? All I want to know from you is why he's not back at work. Oh, I, I don't know. I think you do. It's not a hard question. Would you rather do this at the station? It needn't come to that. Look, I know you think you're protecting him, but the longer he's missing, the more trouble he's going to face when he gets back. I, I think he might have got involved with something that he really couldn't handle. What are you talking about? Well, he mentioned a family called the McFarlane's. What about them? I shouldn't be telling you. It'd be better if you did. They were paying him money. What? Well, uh, you know, only now and again, he'd do them favours and they'd pay him. Are you sure about this? Yes. How much money? Enough for him to go to Malta and not bother coming back. You know, look, you and Sarah seem dead close at the moment. What's that mean, yeah. Yeah, I suppose we are. I know it's not my place to say it. Maybe it's just the time of year talking, but... Would you have another think about having Sarah with you? Sometimes. Sometimes I think it's all I've ever wanted. Well, there you are, then. Being with her, it feels right, and after all that she's been through, for the first time, I, I suppose I feel ready to be there for her. Oh, Debbie, you'll be the most wonderful mum. It'll be the best thing that's ever happened to her. Well, why don't we go and tell her together? Make out like it's the, the best Christmas present. What if I'm not there for her? Well, you will be. What if something happens and I have to go away? Why should you? What if I have no choice? I can't put her through that. What, what, what could happen? <sighs> There's things going on. Things I can't talk about. What, love? Too much work on. Not enough money, I can't look after her. Damn. But I just can't. There you go. What's this? It's your Christmas bonus. Cheers. I'm all right, thanks. Well, you can get your own. You must be happy the way things have turned out. What do you mean? You know, do you have to see? You still have to look after Sarah. She'll be all right where she is. You always said she was best off with Joe. Well, Joe didn't seem to agree, did she? Don't you ever think she'd just be happier with you? If I thought that, I'd have her, wouldn't I? Don't know, would you? Listen, 
Now isn't the right time for her to be with me. But if you must know, I am very happy that Joe didn't take her. Lock up the garage. I'm having the afternoon off. Well, why not? You've had all the morning off. If I wanted to be there all the time, Darren, I wouldn't need you, would I? to see Sarah. And then I went to the pub. Joe's done a runner. Lucky her. Lisa asked me if I'd bring Sarah back here. For good. Yeah? No, I nearly did. It's when the time actually feels right. Something happens that just makes it impossible. Mm, it's probably for the best. You're right. What? The place we're in. There's nothing to panic about. We knew they'd be around sooner or later. You kept to the story we agreed, yeah? I knew everything I said was a lie. Well, as long as you can't prove it. I, I just said what you told me. What? That Shane was mixed up with the McFarlane's. Right, and how did he react? Uh, well, like it wasn't really that much of a surprise. What now? Shane's mixed up with the McFarlane's. Shane disappears. Who's more likely to have caused that, a gang of criminals or two harmless young girls? So, so you think we're all right then? Yeah. I think we're going to be fine. Thanks to you.